Hi and welcome students. This video tutorial will cover Microsoft Edge and everything that you'll need to know to get started with this internet browser. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a Windows 10 desktop screen here and I'm first going to check to see if I have uh, Microsoft Edge on this computer. You could check this on your computer along with me by pressing the Windows key or clicking the Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen and you should see Edge pop up somewhere in the start menu. If you just bought your Windows 10 computer it's going to be pre-installed on this on your computer because it's a Microsoft computer. And so let's uh, go ahead and type in Edge and you'll see that it says Microsoft's recommended browser. Well, that's because you're running Windows 10 on your computer and obviously Microsoft wants you to use their own browser for your computer. So let's go ahead and get started with this program. So Edge was created in 2018 and it was the successor to Internet Explorer which was Microsoft's previous internet browser and when this launched it used the same rendering engine as Google Chrome so you are going to see quite a bit that kind of uh, looks the same here. I mean most internet browsers look pretty similar but Edge does have a couple features that I want to highlight here and so when you first open up Microsoft Edge you're gonna see this screen and it says do more with Edge the fast new browser built for Windows 10 and it's going to ask you to choose this as your default browser depending on if you like it or not that's when you can choose if you want to use this by default over something like Chrome or Firefox alright so let's start up here in the top left and you're gonna see that this option here is tabs that you've set aside as well as uh, set these tabs aside. So let's say that I open up a few tabs. Okay, I'm going to open up Facebook here. I'm going to create a new tab using this button and then I'm going to open up Netflix right here. And so now you'll see that I have two tabs open. What this does is this basically will hide your tabs for later on for uh, use within the future. And so if I go right over here and let's say I have Facebook tab active and I click this button that says set these tabs aside it's going to hide that tab and the only way that I can view that again is if I go over here to tabs you've set aside and I click this and now you're gonna see Facebook is in here so if I click on that it's gonna open it back up over here okay so those are my tabs and you can see that Netflix is now in here so again I can click those to open those up alright so now that I have these two tabs open let's talk a little bit more about this screen here which is our home screen and you'll see that we have a back button and a forward button those are listed uh, basically on every internet browser in the same spot you have your refresh button and then it says F5 in parentheses that means if you're using a keyboard with function keys up at the top you press the F5 key and it's going to refresh that page I'll show you that right here on the Netflix page if I press press F5 there we go it refreshed you can't really tell because it happened very quickly but this is a uh, refreshed copy of this page alright over here is our home page if you click this at any time it's going to take you from wherever you were back to your home screen okay I'm actually gonna close this tab down at the bottom and then over here is where you're going to type in a search or a web address let's say that I search for Facebook it's going to default going to facebook.com Okay, and if I ever want to not go to default or uh, not go to facebook.com, I can just hit a space just to search for the word Facebook, and you're going to notice that it searches using the Bing uh, search engine. Now, Bing search engine is just like any other search engine, kind of like Google or Yahoo or anything else that you might use. And uh, the reason that in, uh, Edge uses Bing search engine is because it is owned by Microsoft. So owned and operated by Microsoft, obviously they're going to want to promote their search engine over something like Google, which you would find on Chrome or Firefox by default. Okay. Now uh, here's some Facebook, or here's our search for Facebook. We have all images, videos, maps, news, shopping, some of the same things you'll find on a Google search. And then right over here, you'll see the address URL as well as a few options to bookmark or favorite the page okay and right here this is your favorites hub if you click on this you could see all of your favorites as well as anything on your reading list books your internet history or your downloads so that's all listed right here and you can change the settings for this menu right here Finally, this right here is kind of a cool feature. This is uh, your notes feature, and this is where you could actually uh, make some notes in Edge. And so this is actually probably easiest to do in this browser from what I could tell. And you can choose a pen color, and let's say I want to show somebody uh, this information right here. I could circle that, and then I could actually save it right here as a web note. 
and I can choose the name and save it right into there. That way I could use that to send to someone or if I want to quickly move that information to another spot on my computer, I could easily do that. And then you could exit the web notes by doing that right there. It will ask if I want to save the changes. I'm going to choose no in this case. So that's what that does. Over here, you're going to see this is a share option. If you click that, it'll give you some options on how you want to share, either by copying a link or if you want to share it with Cortana. Okay, From there, you'll basically see everything else looks like a normal web browser. And so this is all of your normal website links. So again, uh, the only other button that I have not shown is this tab previews. And if you click this, it'll actually show you what's going on on every tab. Um, your home tab, you could always change at a future date. And all of this is the default information. So whatever's showing up uh, in this area is based off of what you've searched in the past for the most part. Uh, and it'll customize your feed over time. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit about what is Microsoft Edge, um, how it compares to some other internet browsers, and some basic information on the buttons that are up at the top along with the address bar itself. So if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.